there, my name is Bridget Mackay. I'm an attorney in Petaluma, California. Welcome to my video blog. Today I'm going to talk about a question that's come up from clients and that I've seen discussed over the internet, which is what is pro rata distribution? Sounds like a lot of Latin, I bet. Um, basically what that means is if you are receiving a trust or you are the trustee and distributing a trust, the assets in a trust, you are not necessarily obligated to distribute each individual asset uh, proportionately to the beneficiaries. I'll give you an example. Um, you have a trust where there is a house worth $500,000 and there is a bank account worth $500,000 and you have two beneficiaries. You as a trustee or you as a beneficiary aren't necessarily entitled or required to receive one half of the house and one half of the bank account in the distribution. Um, the trustee has the ability and you as a beneficiary are able to request, I want property, I want to ha own the house. Then the trustee can di distribute the house to you and the $500,000 to the other beneficiary. They're not required to, to divide those evenly to each beneficiary. So that essentially is pro rata distribution and it happens all the time in trust distributions because oftentimes beneficiaries have interests in different assets. Some beneficiaries may want the family home, others may just want cash and this allows the trustee to satisfy those requests.